Welcome to All Things Motocross. In this video, we are going to tell the story of Eli Tomac's first 450 championship. It was a very competitive season that had many ups and downs that Eli had to overcome. Let's start at the opening round of the 2017 Hangtown Motocross. In the first moto, Tomac would get a decent start and come through the field, passing Marvin Musquin for the lead. He would have a small tip over, but would still win the moto. The second moto wouldn't come so easy. Tomac started the second moto absolutely buried in the pack. At some point, someone's got to play chicken and, and back out. Tip over in the corner. Tomac goes to work on Wilson again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, he just did that. I won the first moto. Let me give it a shot. Let me go around the outside. Uh, Tomac to the inside. Keeps it tight. Wilson runs wide. Whoa. Tomac's going to have to earn this uh, pass. He made it easy there. Uh, I can tell. And that. now we've got a battle on our hands, and you can hear the big crowd here. And Tomac all over him. Tomac down uh -oh. the inside. This could be it. But Moosecan's on the inside of this next corner. They'll try to stand him up. Oh, here we go. They're going to come into this dip side by side. Moosecan's on the outside. It's alive. Oh, no. and Moosecan leaves the brakes. Wow. And look at this. Tomac comes right back. What a charge. And Moosecan holds him up. Now Tomac's going to square it. Oh. All over the contact. He got a little aggressive there. Now he oh. tries it again. Muscan comes back. Look at this. Outside Tomac. line. Oh. Unbelievable. Now he gets the inside or go outside to block. Oh, it's Tomac's trying to Tomac from using it. Oh, they're laying it over deep in. He's corner on it. Muscan's going to grease the inside. Oh, yes. Tomac did it. Take over in Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. Eli Tomac winning both motos. And he was the fastest qualifier today to boot. Round two was at Glen Helen and Eli came in with all the momentum and confidence, but that would change. You know, just what he's got to deal with now, you've got to try to get through the pack, gets around Cody Cooper, love to battle, that's his oh, yeah. specialty. Mm -hmm. Anderson, Barsha, but they do have really good peripheral, he makes a little bubble there, didn't get to the inside. Sixth place at the moment, can he hold on to it? Look at Tomac, you're trying everything you can to stop him, but oh, 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 oh. Tomac, stop holding Tomac off. Tomac gonna charge super hard around the outside. Can he have to get back on the brakes? He gets side by side. Whoa, look at that Whoa. long way around. Eli came through the pack, but he couldn't catch Muskin. In the second, Moto Disaster struck. Josh Tomac's Grant, got yeah. problems, yeah. Tomac trying to get around. He's really Josh slow Grant. to get back on. I guess it's yes, just, look at the front, front, front wheel. So I wonder if he got that front disc back. Now he's got momentum, but look, you can see it's locking up. This is, I mean, this is championship type material stuff right here. See, now it's spinning. Yeah, they're still they didn't not. change it. No, they never changed it. Tomac would finish 19th in the second moto, while Musk in third, taking the overall win and points lead. At round three, there were more struggles for Eli. Musquin would pass Tomac in the first moto, and a new title contender emerged in the second moto. Eli would finish seventh in the first moto. That was perfect. Like you said, but then look at Tomac up the inside. Tomac around the outside. Has he got it? He's got the inside of this turn. He does. Tomac, and he's close as he's ever been. Also, uh, he can't pass on the yellow flag. Look at this, Baggett. Baggett. Second lap in a row that Tomac could not get out of that corner clean. Baggett smells blood in the water. Baggett's right there, and it's going to be annoying. Baggett to the inside. And now it's got Tomac's going to have to grease the outside of this corner, and he does. This is where Baggett has been making up ground all afternoon. Watch it. All oh, around the outside. Woo! Look at Baggett. Oh, what an amazing move. Tomac would go 7-2 for fifth overall and was now 17 points down. At high point, Tomac would go down on the first lap, coming from last to 12th in the first moto. Eli would rebound in the second moto, winning convincingly. But he lost more points to the new series leader, Blake Baggett. Tomac finished fourth overall, and Baggett would win. Eli would start to change the tides at Muddy Creek. Tomac would finish second in the first moto, and dominate the second moto, taking the overall and gaining the championship momentum. Round six at Redbud was some of the best racing we have ever seen. And Tomac's going after Ragged. Tomac going to try to make the pass. He got Bogle back there challenging a nice slide by Tomac to make the pass. <laughs> what happens in this left-hander? He's leaving the brakes late. Makes uh, exactly what he needed for his, you know, championship points battle. That you got him jumping down that hill is Tomac. Oh, he's putting so much pressure on. 
Tomac trying to figure out a way around Muscan. Outside to inside here. Muscan. Well, we were talking about the track conditions, and there's a lot more sand within the dirt. What did he, he do? Together. He, he put his hand down like everything up, and you can tell right now, he is going for it. Baggett has got the eye on the Tiger. Tomac versus Baggett. The gap is one second for the lap to go. Baggett about six tenths. Yeah, it's cost him just enough that storm. you got to think right now if Tomac doesn't make a mistake. Here it is. We got the battle we wanted to see. And he's going to come out on top at Redbone. I feel like right now we got the three most. Last one to take the lead. No, he cannot. Now Tomac goes all the way around the outside. corner, And then they're all still able to pull the trigger on that big Larocco's leap, the 120. Tomac trying to put the press on Anderson. Here's that fly racing uphill triple. He's got Anderson. Oh, I thought Anderson had it blocked, and somehow Tomac got it anyway. Side mission down this hill. Who can leave the brakes on later? Anderson does. Oh, on the inside. It's going to be close. Anderson had to let it go. Tomac did pass him. Oh, no, he's on the inside. Barsha able to get back. Well, you said he heard him. Anderson eating a lot of roost as well. And same thing again. Background. There's still many riders in this battle. Pike, Grant, they're off. Oh, Barsha down. Let him run out. Let's see what he does here. And a little salute to the fans. But today, Red Bud is all about Eli Tomac. He goes 1-1 on Monster Kawasaki to retake control of the championship. Baggett would go down and injure his thumb in the second moto at Red Bud. Eli took the points lead and had all the momentum heading into Southwick. Tomac looking racy. He's going the long way around, trying to make up some spots. He's still trying to find running room and get around Teasdale for third. Can he squeeze the Monster Cali by inside? Go with it, don't go. And we talked before the next Tomac loves his outside lines, and he has to do it. Look at that. Southwick, he went 1 1 last year, and he cuts right to the inside. That's what it's a statement. Look at Baggett, look at Baggett, like trying to come exactly. back. This title, and neither one of them are going to roll over. Tomac, well, the only thing that can stop him today is some sort of bad luck like that. I'm not used to speaking behind these guys that lock. Can he get it down here? Marcin Dongle with injuries through the years. Uh oh. He's trying to get his racing legs back under him. And he's he used open. every ounce of energy he had in that first moto. This is really going to be anywhere. Motocross so demanding at this sand track. Maybe the Tomac still using the outsides. There's that big jump the crowd likes. He's going to try to rail around the outside. It for him, he's very cool, calm, and collected. But Tomac just looks like his momentum is unreal. And he's got the inside. He throws it sideways on the jump. Muscat still got the inside. Oh. Tomac just greased the outside of that corner to take run. He's choosing some outside in some areas. And he's going Second year in a row, Eli Tomac owns Southwick, Massachusetts. And the fans happy to see it. A virtuoso performance. He starts behind his rivals. Tomac was rolling, but after Southwick, he would have some struggles. Eli lost 12 points to Musquin at Millville. Muskin was giving Tomac a stiff challenge as he kept chipping away at Eli's points lead. Musquin absolutely dominated Unadilla, going 1-1 as Tomac went 10-5 for 9th overall. Coming into Bud's Creek, Eli needed to end his slump badly. After the first moto, things were looking bleak for the number 3, but he came out of his slump just when he needed to. Himself to the bike. Here Whoa. is Eli Tomac on the three, on the charge, and he quickly. You're trying to beat for a championship, this is right in front of you, sir. But Tomac, getting around back, it, it locks and loads, and then you Whoa. see a little mistake there from Baggett. Eli Tomac is doing it. Exactly, and then the other thing, which he needs right now, just to the outside, rails that. Baggett did that earlier. That's up okay. over it behind him, because you can hear Adi Perko back to the outside. Oh, and he <laughs> signboard. Oh, Whoa, Tomac, what a move! From the outside of the inside, it's come back to life here at Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. Not going to be enough to get the weekend overall because he had that seventh earlier today. And he's just taking a huge step toward it here. Eli Tomac wins the second moto today. Here at Coming into the last round at Ironman, Eli had a comfortable points lead over his championship rivals. But he had a new challenger from overseas. Dubbed as the fastest man in the world, Jeffrey Hurlings would try his hand at American Motocross at this last round. It was the best in the U.S. versus the best in Europe. Ready going off to Tomac. Wow, up the inside and still launches it. No, no, I don't like being passed, especially on the opening lap. You see Hurley's coming over, taking on points leader in this 450 division, Tomac. As they come down this new boulevard section, we've been oh. calling it. Moose gone.
is right back, trying to challenge Hurlings oh! to the lead, and that's exactly what he didn't want to have happen. He challenged Hurlings, he crashed, and the two riders he could not afford to let beat him in this moto have gotten by. In the first moto, Eli let the ego get the best of him. Now it was time to wrap up the championship. Tomac went into championship mode, cruising it in for the title. Cortez Colorado native is your new Lucas Oil Pro Motocross 450 class champion. Eli Tomac has done it. What should have been in 2015 was in 2017. ET3 overcame a lot of adversity, but he got the job done. Hurlings would go 1-1, and the two would split moto wins at next week's MXGP in Florida. Tomac found the top of the mountain, and that's where he would stay.